chatting about perfectionism and is your perfectionism actually a coping mechanism? I spent years thinking that being a perfectionist was a good thing. I thought that it was making me do things to a really high standard. I thought it was making me really discerning. I thought it was like just I thought that it meant that I was like somehow doing a better job than other people because I was so self-critical of my work and this was like when I had my photography business and I would just with everything I would be so nitpicky and it wasn't really actually helping me like it would make me take ages to reply on emails to people and when I would send them that email I would be like oh my god did I say the right thing did I say the wrong thing like and then I would like rip myself to shreds if like for whatever reason they like didn't accept the quote or they were like oh we actually like want, don't want to pay that much or whatever it was and I would be like oh it must have been something that I did wrong or like if I had just done this better or if I, this had been better then I wouldn't be in this situation and the thing is is it it was making me like criticize myself and shame myself for things. And if there's one thing we know, it's like shame doesn't actually help people to do anything better, which is really quite shocking because the amount of times that we kind of go through life like shaming ourselves for not doing things or just saying that we should be better. And it's really worth mentioning the difference between shame and guilt here because there is a difference. So shame is when you're like, I'm, I've done something or not I've done something bad, I am bad. And guilt is like, I've done a bad thing. And so that's like a really important difference to note because if it's shame, you're like, well, I'm the thing that's wrong here. Not that like I just did a bad thing. It's like, I'm actually like bad for whatever that means. And perfectionism is really sneaky like that because it kind of tricks you into thinking like, oh, I'm doing a really good job because I'm so like, I have such a high standard and like blah 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 and I think there's nothing wrong with being like picky with your work There's nothing wrong with being discerning. There's nothing wrong with having high standards for yourself But it's the way that you talk to yourself about it that makes all the difference And so if your perfectionism is like holding you back from like really going out there and doing things that you want Or it's holding you back from like putting work out because you're like, oh, well, it's not quite perfect So I want to wait until it's like better quote unquote before I put it out there because I don't want to put out work That's not good but the thing is, is you're really shooting yourself in the foot when you do this because when we tell ourselves that we're not going to put things out until they're perfect, we end up actually missing out on a lot of opportunities because if you've noticed the people who get the opportunities are not the ones who like wait to perfect their thing to the point that it's like, perfect before they put it out there because sometimes if you wait that long to go to market or you wait that long to do something like you end up actually missing out because other people do it first or like you miss the opportunity or you kind of like sit on it for too long and then like it's kind of like that moment has passed you by but whereas the people who are able to just like get it done and put it out there and refine it as they go then those people are like they're kind of seen as like innovators or like they get on the trends first or whatever it happens to be so it's actually an advantage and of course I'm never saying to put out like not like shoddy work like that's not what we're saying to do here like do your best for what you can do at that point in time and then be okay with that being good enough because I think we're always like if we're aiming for perfect it's like well nothing is ever perfect what does that even mean like you can't define something being perfect it doesn't exist so if you're aiming for something that doesn't even exist you're gonna shoot yourself down you're gonna destroy your confidence one of the things we know about goal setting is that like it's important to set goals for yourself that are difficult, but if the goal is too difficult and it's too vague, you're kind of, you're not gonna reach it because you won't even know if you did reach it. So one of the biggest mistakes I see people making is they're like, thinking that their perfectionism is helping them or that it's like somehow protecting them but the thing is is it's really not because it's just slowing you down it's like stopping you from really actually even getting better at your work because if there's one thing we know for sure is that like talent is not usually something you're like naturally born with like I would argue the fact that the people that we say are like naturally talented at things are the people that have put the most work into those things and like yes there's always going to be some people who sort of have like a predilection for certain activities like for example I'm never going to be good at like 
like any sport with a ball, if you have to kick it, throw it, whatever, it's not my zone of genius. I don't enjoy doing it, so I don't put work into it. But other things that I do enjoy, like dance class or like creative pursuits, like I'm willing to be bad at it at the beginning so that I can be better at it later. And I know that like the more I do something, like I always use like me going back to dance class is always like a really good example of like you have to be willing to be like a little bit bad at something so that you can get better at it and like not need it to be perfect because if I needed it to be perfect I wouldn't even be doing it because like nothing is ever perfect but I do it because I enjoy the process and I enjoy the way it makes me feel but if I was sitting there like criticizing myself being like I'm not as good as that girl that girl's better than me like I can't do that I can't do this like would I be enjoying myself no so it's like perfectionism is really taking it all away from you and perfectionism is really just fear like it's a fear of being rejected it's a fear of being criticized it's a fear of like not being good enough which is something that affects everyone but like when you work on your self-worth you realize that like you are not the things that you put out there if that makes sense like you are separate and i know it's hard to separate ourselves from those things but the thing is is like you are you and you the way you are you are good enough and like the things that you create they're not you they're separate they're outside of you and they're they can improve all the time like the more you do something the better you get at it like confidence like the way it was defined to me in one of my psychology classes it was like the level of confidence you feel about something is like the degree of certainty that you have that you'll be able to accomplish the thing successfully so i'm just gonna like say that again for people because it's like the degree of certainty that you have around being able to accomplish something successfully. So how do you know that you can accomplish something successfully if you've never done it? You don't, but the more times you do it, the more that level of certainty exists and the more you know what you need to do to accomplish those things. So confidence, it doesn't have to be something you're naturally born with. It doesn't have to be something that's inherent to you. You, it's a skill that gets improved over time the more you do something but if you don't do the thing you'll never feel confident about it so what we're really trying to say here is like the perfectionism is protecting you in the sense that it's stopping you from being rejected it's stopping you from feeling like you're not good enough it's stopping you from being criticized but if you live your whole life on like the defense trying to prevent yourself from being criticized you'll probably end up doing nothing and then you'll get criticized for doing nothing as well so it's not really protecting you so the thing that really has to shift here in order for you to start releasing this perfectionism is realizing that the more you do something the better you're gonna get at it and also like if other people don't like it that's their problem like there's something that I always I kind of almost like use it as a mantra for myself like because putting things out on the internet like do I get nervous about it not really anymore I've been doing it for a while like I'm pretty used to like putting things out there but one of the things that really has stuck with me that has really helped me has been just like if someone doesn't like it like that's a you problem not a me problem like if I say something that triggers you or you don't like something that I do or something that I say or you don't like my voice well like that's your issue not my issue and it makes it it's really freeing then because I'm like well I like what I'm putting out and like also I'm putting out free content on the internet that's here to help you like you're welcome <laughs> And so it's like it really it takes the pressure off of me trying to please everyone else because I know that that's not possible like there's always this like quote that goes around the internet and it's like like you can't make everyone happy like you're not Nutella and there's probably some weird people who don't even like Nutella and we don't want to be friends with them but like that's beside the point you know like you're there's never going to be anything that makes everyone happy it's like literally impossible and the more you try and like pander to making everyone happy happy the less happy you're gonna be because that's not living in your authenticity that's not living in your truth that's not being true to you so you have to realize that like your opinion of you matters so much more than what these other people's opinion matter and also like you're never gonna be criticized by someone who's doing more than you so if the only like 
people that are criticizing you or people who are either like not even doing anything or like are doing less than you well like you're already ahead of them in the game like they're probably jealous or it triggers something because it's making them face like the parts of themselves where like they feel like they can't do that so when you start to see it from that perspective you're like okay well i have compassion for these people because they're on some level just jealous or they don't feel like they can do these things and so that makes it less about me and it's more about them and like anytime someone has like a strong negative reaction to you it usually says more about them than it does about you and like of course it's like hurtful to get a comment that like doesn't feel good at times i'm not saying that like you're never going to get your feelings hurt but you're able to see it for what it is which is like that's their perspective about them it probably has nothing to do with you like when we get so triggered by something it says more about the other person than it does about us and so you're able to bring it back to being like well that's a you problem it's not a me problem so some of the ways that you can start to work on this is like by reaffirming that to yourself by knowing that like confidence comes from repeatedly doing something and becoming more and more certain that you're able to accomplish what you set out to do which just comes from doing things multiple times like there's like that 10,000 hours to master something I forget where I heard this. I heard it a long time ago, like when I first became a photographer, where it was like, you need 10,000 hours of like practicing something to like master it. So like get started on your 10,000 hours. Like the more you try and put it off, the longer it takes before you achieve mastery. And like self mastery is like one of my biggest values. If you've been here for a while, you probably know that, but it's like the only way you're gonna get that 10,000 hours is if you start now. So if you're waiting for things to be perfect, well, like the more you put it off, the less likely a chance of like you even have of achieving that, but you won't because perfection is not a real thing. So realizing that, realizing that it, it's just feedback, like the more you do something, the better you're gonna get at it. And also like if people don't like what you do, it says more about them than it does about you. So I'm really hoping that these mindset shifts like help you and allow you to see how like perfectionism is usually just a coping mechanism where we're trying to protect ourselves from being criticized or from being rejected but knowing that the only person who can really reject you is you and if you decide that you're not going to do that then you're good because what other people think of you is like not your business and unless they're paying your bills like their opinion really doesn't matter it's nothing so I hope this was helpful for you today and let me know in the comments send me a DM on Instagram. Reach out. I'd love to hear if this was helpful for you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will talk to you soon.